Hello, hope you are doing good. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to use Benchmark Email Marketing Platform. It is one of the best email marketing platform for small businesses, freelancers, or for e-commerce. And the reason why I say this is, to get started, it's completely free. And while you may say, yes, it is free to get started on other platforms, with Benchmark, their free plan is actually very good. For example, for zero down per month, you'll be able to send up to 3,500 emails. Compare this to the more popular platform, MailChimp, you'll only be able to send 1,000 emails. Plus, there are numerous other features that you'll get on the free plan on Benchmark that is a lot better than MailChimp. So what I would recommend you do is go onto benchmarkemail.com then tap on sign up for free and you can quickly sign up using your email address. Some other features of Benchmark is email marketing, marketing automation. You can also use it for marketing CRM and you can use it to create landing pages, smart content for e-commerce, lead generation, reporting and it also offers numerous integrations. In fact, it has a lot of integrations. Let us take a quick look on that. So you can see that you can integrate Benchmark with Shopify, Zapier, Zoho, just to name a few. You can see right here, there are numerous, up to 1,500 different services that you can integrate it with. Once you are signed up with Benchmark, you will be redirected to this dashboard. And all you have to do is enter the name of your organization. So let me do that real quick. Simple answers. Then I'll tap on enter. After you have done that, you can see right here what industry does simple answers belong to. And then you can choose any industry that your business is in. So let's say for example, sake, let me see the different industries right here. Let's say we are in market research. I'll tap on that. Then after you have done that, you can see what Simple Answers website. If you don't have one, hit the enter to skip this. And I'll tap on enter right there. And then you'll see thanks, finish setting up. Once you have done that, all you'll need to do now to create your first campaign you could go over to the top left hand corner, tap on emails. After you have tapped on emails, you'll tap right here on email. Then you'll tap on create new email in the top right hand corner. Then after you have done that, you'll see regular email and you also have the option of RSS email. For this example, we will stick with regular email. After you have done that, you can choose the drag and drop editor or you can choose a plain text editor, whichever is to your liking. So we'll simply tap on next. After you have done that, you'll be redirected to a new page on which you'll be able to edit your email. Just give it a few seconds. Meanwhile, it loads up. Once it has loaded up, you can see you could choose blank layouts or you can tap on templates. And from there, you can choose from one of their preloaded templates. And by the way, you can get more specific and choose the different topic or niche that you would want. But let's scroll down and quickly choose a template for this example. Let's say I would like to use this template. All I have to do is simply tap on it. Once you have tapped on the template, you'll be able to edit it. And its editing option is very good even for a complete beginner. So let's say we want to scroll down and we want to make some changes. So if you'd like to change any text section, all you have to do is tap on the section that you'd like to change. Once you have tapped on the section from there, you can remove anything. So let's say I would like to delete this line. All I have to do is highlight it and then tap on backspace. You can also add text if you want. You could simply type in the text right here if you want. So let's say type in test. You can also add links real quick by tapping on the insert link right there. You can change the font size. You can change the font color and so on. There are numerous customization options. 
and if you would like to add anything to the layout so let's say i would like to add an image all you have to do is go over to the left hand menu option tap on image and then from there you can select where you would like to add the image all you have to do is drag and drop any one of the blocks that you want as you can see right here simply tap on it then from there you could search for the image that you would want to add once everything is to your liking all you'll need to do is tap on save and close once you have tapped on save and close you are going to tap on save and next in the bottom right hand corner but before that we'll tap on preview just to see how it looks and by the way you can see how it looks right here you can also preview it on mobile as you can see right there then let's tap on close at the bottom right hand corner once you have tapped on save and next you will be redirected to this page on which you'll be able to add the address then you'll simply tap on save and close but let's go back to the main dashboard so i'll tap on home in the top left hand corner so i can show you some more features of benchmark email so again we can go over to the left hand menu option we could tap on contacts from there you can add your contacts by tapping on list then you could tap on create new list in the top right hand corner and you'll be able to add your contacts as you can see right here let's go back you can also create segments by tapping on segments you could tap on create new segments in the top right hand corner after you have tapped on create new segments you will be redirected to this page and then from here you could add in the segment name then after you have done that you could tap on save and next then let me select a contact list so i'll select the sample contact list then i'll tap on save and next after you have done that you will be redirected to a new page and then from here you could add the segment criteria. so let's say we want to add date added you could do that or you could tap on email address you have numerous segment options then you'll simply tap on add criteria after you have done that you will tap on save and refresh count and you can create numerous segments using this platform so let's go back so we'll go on home again once on the main dashboard again i'll show you some more features so let's go over to automations from there you can create automations you can also watch your analytics to see your conversions your click-through rate your open rate so you'll simply tap on reports right there if you would like to create a landing page you could tap on landing pages right here once you have tapped on landing pages to try their landing page you could tap on try landing pages right here then you could enter your landing page name then you will tap on next once you have done that you are going to be redirected to this page so from here you can choose different templates that you can quickly edit so you can choose blank layouts if you want or you could tap on templates they do offer a few templates but their templates are limited compared to other email marketing platform that provide you with more eye-catching templates well, let's say i would like to use this template all i would have to do is tap on it after i've done that you're going to have the regular editing options on the left hand corner right here so you can see the different blocks that you can add if you'd like to add content you could tap on content and this will allow you to add images buttons videos social share or so on and also if you would like to change the layouts you could tap on layouts and you could choose another template so once you're finished all you'll have to do is tap on save and save and next or you could tap on preview and from there you'll be able to see how it looks that's basically it with benchmark email it is quite easy to use and very straightforward and i do think it is beginner friendly and a plus for it is that it offers a lot of features for completely free and also if you decide to go up to their paid plan it is affordable more affordable than mailchimp as i showed you earlier the only pullback is 
the templates are limited compared to MailChimp. And while it does offer a lot of integrations, MailChimp also offer a lot of integrations and do offer automations and segmentations. But it is a close second depending on what you are looking for. Hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you did, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe.